Hey guys, this is Jaden again, and you know, <clears throat> this is I'm, this is for, first off, this is going to be a uh, <clears throat> a Q and A. I haven't I have uh, been meaning to do to answer y'all's questions uh, before we went to Pasadena. Actually, it just didn't work out that way. But before we get to the questions, um, there's something I need to say um, because over the last two two days, a little over that, I have done everything I can to uh, basically keep my anger in check. And, um, you know, there's something that needs to be said. And, um, you know, and if this offends anybody, it's not meaning to, you know. But I've reached that point where in my life I, I, I say what I say and I'm going to say it. And I'm not meaning to offend anybody, and if I do, I apologize, but it's not my intent. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to name names because they're not worth the mention. Um, you know, there, there's been some people, and, you know, that th they commented on a certain thing, you know, on a, one of our videos that we posted on one of our deck profiles... And it really got under my skin. I may have lashed out even a little bit more than I should have. Um, but first off, I am very protective of my friends. And when someone criticizes their beliefs and I think they come across rude, I tend that that's one of my hot buttons. And um, and and you have the right to know why. Um, I grew up with. Um, Someone who continuously bashed me for no matter what I believed in, and finally I hit a certain point in my life. I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna believe in what I want to believe in. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, say what I want to say. And if and if you don't want to hear it, you know, tough shit. I'm gonna say it, um, and that's all there is to it. And you know, <clears throat> I I'm, I mean I'm all for. Given your two cents worth, guys. That's why I started this whole fucking channel. Is because, and, you know, I wanted to socialize with other people outside of my locals. And, yes, this is a beer. I've had a long fucking day. Um, so, if it offends you that I'm drinking a beer and making this video, I apologize. But, you know, <clears throat> I've reached that point where it, it's kind of it's kind of gotten to the point where... You know, everyone gets about one good shot with me, and if they hit one of my sore spots, um, not having respect for someone else's opinion, um, attacking, whether it's verbally or physically, um, someone I love or care about, they tend to become irrelevant to me, to put it in the best sense. And, you know, maybe that's to some people... Maybe to some people they'll view that as wrong, immature, um, not realistic, not being nice, you know, because people make mistakes and they should be given second chances. And you know, right, I give second chances. I mean, I don't lash out at somebody just because they say something that irks me. Um, but when you hit one of those things that there's just, there's just no, um, there, there's just like no way to say that you were playing and it was clear that you were doing your best just to piss me off. That's the kind of thing, you know, I, I just can't take rude people. I just can't. Um, and, you know, they drive a rage in me and <clears throat> I just don't deal with them. I just, I, I refuse to deal with them. And, um... I'm going to continue to make videos, and I'm going to continue to say what I want. I'm going to continue to give my opinion. I'm going to continue to explain my choices. And if you want to comment, you are welcome to. I not only welcome it, I encourage you, because I want to hear your opinion. Even if it is the complete opposite of mine. Because with the situation we had popped up, we believed this was the right answer. They believed this was the right answer and, you know, or the way you should do things. And they didn't even consider for a fucking second that, you know, there's a possibility there's more than one way to skin a cat. And, you know, 
that is one of my hugest pet peeves right there. When you are so close-minded, you won't even take someone's else opinion into account. That is, that is the that is one of my worst qualities. Is that literally sets me off? It's like I go from cold to hot in a heartbeat. There's just no middle ground there, and you know. And, and that's that's my I guess that's one of my bad qualities, and I'll live with it. But um, if you want to leave your comments, guys, I want you to please do not take this as if. And, and if you think you have ever done anything, there's this is only aimed at a very small handful of people. And you know I, there are hundreds of you guys because I think I, I'm up to uh, I have no freaking clue. Um, 493 subscribers. There are many, many of you who I love talking to. To name a couple, uh, Siren Frost or Kaiser uh, Gray or Bob Smith. I mean, uh, just Drago, Alex Cruz, Mystic Blaze. There are hun there are lots of you, and and you know the people who just the people who just have a t who feel they have to be rude to get their point across I, I have no time for them so if you're watching this and you're one of those people please do me a favor and just go away you're not worth my time you're not worth my effort and the people that are here that are just wanting to exchange ideas and have friendly conversations about a fucking card game you're not worth our time so <clears throat> in closing guys and this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. I left a comment in response to someone who said that they thought that I was a bad person, to sum it all up. And you know what? Maybe I have bad qualities that would normally make someone bad, but I have a lot of... I, I like to believe that I'm a pretty approachable guy. Um, for those of you who have come up to me at tournaments and said, I've seen you on YouTube, I like your videos, blah, blah, blah. I love it when you guys do that because I never once wanted to make this as a thing to try and get known, if you know what I mean. All I wanted was to share thoughts with other Vanguard players. That's it. You know, I mean, the, you know, I think there's this preconceived notion that some people start YouTube channels to try and, you know, get out there, and that was not my intent. I literally started this channel to <clears throat> exchange ideas with people outside my locals, to have fun, and to talk about a card game. That's it, you know, and... If that's not your intention, I'm sorry. I'm willing to share my ideas about this game on anything I'm asked, but <clears throat> if all you're going to do is waste my time and be rude, please go somewhere else. I don't have time for it. You know, that's just the way I am. It's the way I've been for years. I'm not going to change. Let's deal with it. And if that, if that doesn't work for you, tough. So that's all I'm going to say, guys. I just had to get that out. out. <clears throat> I had to say it, you know. So, um... Thank you to all of those of you who have done nothing wrong, who have been awesome to talk to, given me your feedback, suggested videos, commented on the videos, given me likes, subscribed to the channel, met me at a tournament, came up, said hi, we chatted for four or five minutes about anything from card games to anything. You know, I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, but if you're just here to stir the pot, as they say, fuck off. So, let's get into these questions, guys. Sorry I didn't do this earlier, um, but here's how this works, guys. I'm going to answer the questions that were posted on my last Q&A video. If you have a question, you can leave it in the comment section below, and next time I do a q and I'll answer them. Um, you can ask me anything about Vanguard. You can ask me about sports, um, school, music. I don't care. You can ask me anything you want. So, here we go. Uh, the first question comes from... Dylan Russo. I'm hope I, I hope I'm pronouncing names right. Again, if I don't pronounce your name right, I sincerely apologize. Do you Skype card fight? If you do, is there a chance we can play with you? Thanks and love the videos. Well, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to set up a Skype, guys. I am going to. Um, tomorrow is my day off. That is my plan to get it set up tomorrow. Um, and if that is the case, maybe there'll be such a thing as I can start uh, doing that because there is a lot of you out there I would love to play, even if it's over a computer screen or Skype or however you want to word that. Um, I would love to do that with a lot of you. A lot of you seem like really cool guys. I wish, you know, guys and girls, I wish a lot of you lived closer so you could come to my locals and we could all just hang out. But unfortunately, we don't. So, but yes, Dylan, I'm going to set up a Skype and set up a... Uh, 
way so we can card fight each other um, and do things like that. So thank you, uh, Dylan, for your question and for reminding me that uh, I need to do that. Um, next question comes from Austin Till, um, Pito Baru. Pito Baru? Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, question is, hey, Jaden, I love your videos. Thank you very much. Also, before you check out my channel, I don't have any videos up right now, but I will be uploading sometime soon. Anyway, on to the question. Why is Kagero your favorite deck? <clears throat> well, I've always been a huge control player. When I played Yu-Gi-Oh!, that's the, the um, some of my favorite decks was Chaos Control, um, Plant Synchro, you know, decks that basically just controlled a slow, steady pace, and then when they were ready to start launching devastating moves, that's just what they did. Um, and Kagero, to me, it... <clears throat> It did that. It was a control game. It was being able to continuously control what was on your opponent's board. And the fact that they were red dragons, you know, red being my favorite color, it was just, you know, the icing on the cake. But, <clears throat> you know, um, why is Kyogre my favorite deck? Um, I just like it. <laughs> you know, I, I guess there's some... Kyogre is my favorite... Uh, clan, you know, it's what I use the most of. Second would probably be Link Joker, but Kagro by far is my favorite, and I, I just love the artwork. I've always, you know, especially dragon style artwork. You know, that's pro that probably has a great deal to do with it. So, <clears throat> next question comes from Kaiser Gray RS. Um, hey Kaiser, what's up? Do you still enjoy the Vanguard anime, specifically Vanguard G, since the original isn't airing anymore? Um, you know, I. Through, like, the first ten episodes of Vanguard G, I was sitting there going... I, I was literally having to tell myself, okay, we're gonna watch this. It's gonna get better. It has to get better. You know? Um, finally, about episode... 16, I think, it finally started to get good. Um, it finally started to get, you know, at least entertaining. Um, some of the characters, you know, started to actually become likable. Um, uh, like, for instance, I thought from the start I wouldn't like Shion. I'm really starting to like the character of Shion. Um, I really like, uh, Mamoru, um, for the obvious Kagero reason, but I also like Ibuki. Um, you know, I, I really am starting to like the, the anime a whole lot more. You know, I hope they continue to improve. Um, I'm still hoping that Ren, Aichi, Kai, Leon, um... Olivier Gaillet or Oliver Gaillard, whatever you want to call him, comes back into the picture. Those are probably my top five favorite characters right there. But <clears throat> I hope they come back into the picture eventually, maybe just for an episode here or there, you know, to make a cameo. But do I enjoy the anime? Yeah. Um, do I think it's as good as the originals? No. Um, next question comes from... Mystic Blaze E, do you think Star Vaders from Link Joker will get any strides because Star Vaders are really good and my favorite, but I think they are starting to die out against other decks because almost every single deck has a stride now, even though maybe Judgment Messiah work with them. Well, if I would have answered this when I was supposed to, I would have still said yes. Um, we have seen that Link Joker got a stride that's not Messiah, it's Big Nebula Crunch Dragon, the one where... You flip over a copy of them, and you basically lock an Omega Lock a column, um, which is good. I mean, it's nothing to jump up and down about. I mean, it definitely is good, um, but it's not, you know, great. Um, uh, but it's nice. You know, I think um, I think there's also one in the Fighters Collection, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, you know, outside of Omega Glendios, but I don't know for, uh, for sure, but... Um, but I, I do uh, I do really really like um, I like Star Raiders too um, you know that I'm mean, Chaos Breaker Dragon was uh, he's one of my favorite favorite cards um, but you know uh, yeah I think Star Raiders will get more support in the future so I wouldn't give up on them yet um, oh and yeah you just said I found out that there will be in Fighters Collection 2015 okay great. Uh, next question comes from Drago. Um, hey, Jaden, I think you mentioned before that you won state with your high school football team. If so, um, what year? Okay, there's a lot of questions in this, so I'm just going to start at the top. Um, if I did say I won state in high school, I misspoke. Um, what I meant 
Um, I don't think I ever said that, but you know, sometimes I do get away and I, I misspeak, but I, we got to the semi state finals. <laughs> that was, um, we got to the semi state finals, my senior year, um, uh, right after uh, my knee injury, my junior year, um, we did not beat them. We were playing. You got to understand, guys. I went to a very small school, <laughs> and um, we pretty much just had a football team of whatever kids wanted to play. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. We had a lot of good talent, you know, for just just high school. You know, I mean, we had no players that went on, you know, to like, you know, superstar status in college or anything like that. But um, you know, um, we played against this one school. It was a private school, and I cannot for the life of me remember their name. It was some Christian academy. Um, um, and we played them twice that year, and that was the only team we lost to. Um, and, it and, and I'll be honest, we didn't lose, guys. We got our heads handed to us. You know, they say these private schools don't recruit for their football teams. They're bullshitting. They recruit. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, because, guys, their receivers, this was high school. Their receivers were 6'3 and 6'4. Their quarterback had already accepted a full ride somewhere. Um, I, I, their offensive line, each one of them had to weigh at least 250 pounds. Um, I mean, we're talking that, that this team could have probably competed against some college teams. And, you know, I think we ended up losing that year 49 to I think we only scored 14 points. Uh, if that, you know, I really honestly don't remember. It's been so freaking long. But the only thing I remember about this academy is before every game, they would call for silence and they would pray, you know, and wish for good sportsmanship and, you know, wish that no player got hurt and God would watch them. And... <clears throat> That's all fine and good, you know, it's not me, I'm an atheist, but, and I'm proud of it, but that's all fine and good. I respect people who have faith, and I encourage them to have it, if they, if that is their wish, and it's not being forced down their fucking throat, but right after they prayed for like seven minutes, you know, and... That's what that is one of those things that irritates me. This guy would get on the inner speaker and he would pray for everybody. I'm I'm literally surprised he didn't start going. I pray the head coach does well. I pray the assistant coach does good, and the defensive coach, and the offensive coach, and the line coach, and the referees make the right decision, and the concession stand doesn't run out of popcorn. I mean, it was just like, dude, shut the fuck up. You know, we get it. You 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 ask you, you pray for the basic stuff but th this guy pre made it seem like he was almost giving a sermon and all the people they would start crying and you know praising and all this and that cut to 10 minutes later in the game they're throwing the middle finger they're cussing like worse than sailors they're throwing things into the field you know it, it's like i'm okay if you want to be you know religious and things like that and i encourage it and i'll defend your right to do so but then don't immediately flip and just turn into a fucking you know like someone from pittsburgh you know because if you go to a Steeler game that's how i'm pretty sure how they all act because pittsburgh's nothing pittsburgh is nothing but full of assholes um you know or at least Steeler fans are in my book but it, it's just like i'm fine if that's how you want to be but don't immediately flip on it. You know, don't pray everyone wish, don't pray that you hope everybody has good sportsmanship and then your players, even your coaches and your fans are saying, fuck those players! You know, it's just like, yeah, that's good sportsmanship. Great job. Jesus, Jesus loves you guys. Uh, and if so, what year? I graduated 2010, so that would be, it would, I think football season ends. It was either twenty. It was either twenty. It would. It would either have been the tail end of two thousand nine or the beginning of two thousand ten. I honestly don't remember. Um, and with which school? It was a very, very small school in Oklahoma called Pawhuska. <laughs> you know. Uh, and what school did you face that year to win the state championship game? Well, we didn't play in the state championship game, but it was some Christian academy. Um, I really don't remember their name. Um, and also, what was your biggest challenge during that game? Uh... To be honest, guys, it wasn't a challenge because they literally ran right over us. I mean, in the after the first quarter, it was twenty-one nothing. You know, I mean, these 
the, I mean, I honestly hate it. Hate that one thing that really pissed me along with all of us off. I think this school should have been booted up to the private school division, but their argument was, well, we're still a small private school, so we should get to play with the regular public schools. And I added, and that made me fucking sick, you know, because it's like, yeah, y'all don't g recruit, but every fucking player on your team has already accepted scholarships somewhere, you know, and, you know, it's like, they're, I don't... I'm not accusing them of well, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm accusing them of lying. Um, I I think they I think that school lied through their fucking teeth. I think they did recruit, but you know what? It's in the past. I don't care. That year was a blast. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, a little too much fun in some cases, but um, you know, power to them. You know, but the biggest challenge in that game is there was one person on that team that I at least got along with, and that was their running back. And I played middle linebacker, so whenever he ran the ball, one of my jobs was to find him and try and get him down. And he was 6'1", 6'2", if I'm remembering right. He, he literally, he must have weighed somewhere between 225 to 235 pounds, and he was... He was fast. And there were times, like, I would be able to get my hands on him, but it, it, it would literally take two or three people just to get him down. He was big. He was the nicest guy. I don't remember his name. This was so long ago. I mean, it's 20... I know it's only five years, but um, I don't remember people's names, you know, and I only met this guy twice, you know, but... Um, but biggest challenge in that game, definitely just trying to get their damn running back down. It was impossible. We didn't sack their quarterback all fucking game. You know, I mean, they're all, our offensive line, if you would have taken it and added the weight up and then take, took their offensive line and added the weight up, it, it, would, it would have been 300 pounds, 400 pounds short, I guarantee you. Um, but <clears throat> I enjoyed high school football. You know, unfortunately, I didn't get to go play in college like I wanted to, but oh well. Next, um, Alex Cruz. His question is, Yo, Jaden, are you a fan of anime other than Vanguard? If so, what are some of your favorites? Um, yes, Alex, I love anime. Um, I think my favorite, other than Vanguard, would have to be Blaze Blue. I really like Blaze Blue. I like Dragon Ball Z. Um, um, Samurai 7. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. Death Note. Um... I tried to get into Naruto. Some of my friends are really big Naruto fans. Uh, my teammate Christian, uh, my friend Cody, and my friend Aaron, they're big Naruto fans. I, it just didn't appease to me. You know, I, it just didn't, you know, just didn't, I didn't like it. Um, and that's fine. You know, uh, everybody doesn't like everything, but... Those are just a couple, but yeah, I love anime. I, I, I love anime. <laughs> um, next question, and the final question comes again from Mystic Blazy. Uh, what do you think of the G trial deck that is coming out? Um, well, I'm assuming you're talking about um, the Messiah trial deck because that is the only G trial deck that is coming out. Um, because I can, the Ren is the legend deck, um, so. I'm really excited about the Messiah trial deck. I'm really excited to get my hands on this deck. It'll be... I see a lot of fun with this deck that's going to be happening. But really, really excited. June 19th can't get here quick enough. So anyway, guys, those are your questions. I hope I answered them to the best extent that you wanted them to. I hope you enjoyed them. So um, here's how it works, guys. Leave a question for me below next time, and I will answer your question, and I will give you a shout-out. Um, you can ask me a question about anything. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you very much if you stayed through uh, past the first seven or so minutes where I got off my chest what I needed to. Uh, but now that it's out, I can get back to doing what I love to do, making videos for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video for me, and I'll see you guys next time.